do yeah. is adore you all of the time. I like to come on, come on, come on, come on. And welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Nikki and I post a variety of different types of videos on this channel. But today I'm very excited about this video because I think a lot of you guys are going to like it. And as you guys can already tell from the title today, I'm going to be talking about hamster life hacks. Now you guys are actually the ones that kind of gave me the idea for this video because a couple videos back I was doing a hamster cage tour and I was talking about how Rhino doesn't really chew on a lot of his wooden chews and a bunch of you guys told me in the comments that I should put peanut butter on the chews and see if Rhino chews on them like that or I could put the chews into a food dish with his food and the chews will kind of get that food scent on it and your hamster will also want to chew on it. So I thought that those were really, really good ideas and I want to try those out today. I'm also going to be trying out some other hamster hacks in this video. I just thought this would be a great video to show you guys what works, what doesn't, what Rhino enjoys, what he doesn't. Hopefully I can save some of my wooden shoes. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the video. Alrighty, so as per usual, I'm filming in front of my door and I'm just taking this big old jar full of all of my wooden chews and some of my other types of chews as well. There's a mineral chew in here and some loofah ones, but I'm just going to take some of the basic old wooden ones that like look like this. I'm just going to take some of those out and we are gonna start spreading on some of the peanut butter. Alrighty, so I just grabbed some chews. So I just have a couple that I'm gonna be trying the peanut butter hack with. And of course I have the peanut butter. Now, one thing that you have to remember when you are using a peanut butter to do this is you want it to be 100% peanuts. Now this one's actually called 100% peanuts. So the only ingredient in this is peanuts and you don't want your peanut butter that you're gonna be trying to do this hack with to have anything else like salt or palm oil or anything else, which by the way, this is kind of besides the point, but when you're looking for foods, try to make sure that your foods don't have palm oil in them. Palm oil is really destructive to the rainforest. It's what's caused a lot of the logging in the Amazon rainforest. It's definitely something you don't want to support unless it says that it is coming from a credible source. So yeah, anyways, this is 100% peanuts. So I'm going to just try spreading some of this on these blocks. And then tonight I'm going to be seeing if Rhino chews on them or shows any interest in them. I actually watched Victoria Rachel's video on how to do this. And pretty much she says that you don't want to really leave a whole bunch of the peanut butter actually on. Oh boy. Whoops, well that just got on my carpet, but whatever. Don't want to leave the peanut butter actually on the chew. You kind of just want to put it on there and then take it off so that your hamster will smell it and then want to go chew on the chew. So I just put on the peanut butter and as you all can probably tell, I actually wiped off a lot of it so there's really not a whole lot of peanut butter still on these. Just enough so that he might want to chew on them later, just kind of to entice them to chew on the blocks. Hoping that Rhino will like these, I'm going to go put them in his cage and we'll check tonight and see if he wants to chew on them. So as y'all can already tell, I'm over here by Rhino's cage and I just put in the two peanut butter wooden blocks and now I'm going to be testing out the second hamster life hack and that is the food hack where you put the chews inside the food dish or the food container and you see if the hamster goes and chews on them after that. So as you guys can see, I have these two wooden blocks similar to the other ones. Um, they have the holes in the middle just in case you have like a kebab that you can put them on. I don't, so I just have them. And I'm just gonna go ahead, pop them right inside this food dish, cover them with food and see if Rhino goes after them once they get the whole food scent on them.
interested in the video? Yeah? Rhino's like really wants to be the center of tension today. I see how it is. I see how it is. I want to steal my spotlight. I'll see you. See you, boo boo. Alrighty, so I'm gonna let Rhino go back to doing his thing. I don't want to like really do with him too much right now because he is technically supposed to be sleeping because it's the afternoon and he's not really supposed to be up yet. So I'm just gonna quickly go through a couple of other hamster life hacks that I actually do. So I'm not gonna be trying these out or seeing if they work. I'm really just going to be telling you guys about them so that you can do these with your own hamsters. The first one is something you've probably already seen, but it is just to keep your hamster's food in an airtight container because this is going to keep your hamster's food a lot fresher than if it were just in the bag that it comes in or just a regular plastic container that's not airtight. So I just use this one. Not sure exactly where I got it, but I know you can find them at like Walmart or anywhere else that sells like these type of dishes. It's airtight and it keeps your hamster's food really fresh. And what I do with the rest of the bag, because obviously the whole bag is not going to fit in this because it's pretty small. They do sell larger ones of these though. What I do with the rest of the bag of his food is I actually keep it in the fridge. And the reason why I do that is because it just keeps it a lot fresher. Your hamster will enjoy it if it's more fresh and not super stale. So my last hamster hack that I personally do is that I have a hamster trash can right next to my cage. Now I know this is probably like, uh, duh, you should have a trash can next to your cage, but I don't know, I just thought I'd throw that out there for those of you guys who don't have one. It's just this container, it's not super small, but it actually used to hold my hamster's food until I switched him over to the airtight container. So the reason why I have this over here is that whenever I clean out little poops out of Rhino's sand bath or I need to put soiled bedding in there, I don't want to have to go run across my house just to put it in the trash, so I just put it in here. And I would definitely suggest getting one that has a lid that you can just pop on and pop off so that it's just not always open and it's not always like smelling a lot. So definitely get one with a lid so that it will not stink up your whole house because they can definitely hold odors, I can tell you that. To finish off this video, I'm just going to wait until tonight when Rhino's more awake. He just went back to sleep actually and I'm going to try out and see what he thinks of the food, um, the chews that are in the food dish and I'm also going to see if he continues to show some interest in the peanut butter chews as well. So. I'll catch you guys up in a few hours. Three hours later. It is a few hours later and I am about to go ahead and check and see if Rhino has decided to chew on his little peanut butter chews anymore or anything. And I'm also going to put in the chews that I left in the food over here. So checking on the chew, doesn't look like it has a whole lot of action. There's a tiny bit of chewage on the edge. Not a whole lot though. I think that maybe He'll chew on it later in the night. Overall, the first reaction that we got was really good, so I'm hoping that he'll continue to chew on that. And now, I'm gonna go ahead, take these chews out of here, since they have been in the food for a while. He's currently actually eating in his little soil pit, which I just used in my last hamster video. And so he seems to be liking it. Again, I am going to try to find a larger Tupperware container because this one is a little bit small. Looks like he's enjoying cleaning himself in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put these into his cage. Trying to get him to try the new shoes. He seems interested in them.
So I'm not sure if I'm going to get any action with him actually trying out these chews. He doesn't seem to be immediately going for the ones that I just put in the food like he was going for the peanut butter ones. Um, I'm hoping he'll still try them out. Um, but you know, it might just be a case of just that he is not a huge chew lover or a wood lover, which is fine. Um, you know, of course every hamster is different and I think that these hacks are at the end of the day something that you should at least try for a hamster because you never know what your hamster likes. Every hamster is different, so yeah. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me trying out these hamster life hacks. Even though they weren't like a rousing success, I think the peanut butter chew did go over pretty well. At least he tried it. At least he nibbled on it. It was worth a try. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.